can real estate actually create financial freedom? You know, it's interesting. There's a lot of skepticism out there. You've got a handful of people who are like, yes, it worked for me. Yes, it worked for me. I'm, I'm one of those. And you have a lot of people who are like, oh my gosh, I've been burned by real estate. Real estate went down on me. I lost my house. I bought this thing. It didn't work. And that's kind of the world that we live in today is it, it, it's hot and cold. You have some people that are saying 100% yes. And you have other people who are like, never again. Which is it? And today I'm actually joined by a couple of my brand new partners that just started a couple of weeks ago, Zeke and Vanessa. And they actually came here from Fort Worth, Texas. We're actually in the middle of my event and they've just experienced day one. And when we cut to them, I'm excited to interview them and talk about what their next steps are and find out for them in particular, will this actually create the financial freedom that they hope that it will? Cause we're gonna be legends. What we're doing here ain't just scary. It's about to be legendary. What's up guys, how are we doing? Doing good, how are you? Dude, so glad to have you guys out here. Okay. By the way, how was day one of that event yesterday? It's amazing, amazing. amazing. Exceeded our expectations. Did it really? 100%, yeah. yes. We haven't even hardly talked about real estate yet, right? <laughs> yeah. But what was it about yesterday that really was impactful for you? All the breakthroughs. Um, you know, seeing Oscar in particular, that was really emotional and seeing everybody connect and, yeah. and just being able to get past their limitations and that was amazing for me myself too like I got past my own limitations and it, it was amazing well, that's yeah. awesome how about for you Vanessa um, I would have to say the same I didn't realize how limiting belief actually does impact your everyday life you have them in the back of your mind but you don't realize how they actually do affect your present and future um, decisions. Yeah, you know, we're, we're talking about if real estate can actually create financial freedom and, and it's amazing. Most people get here on day one, they're like, what's happening? We're not even really diving much into real estate and it's because before we can really come up here and say, here's the strategy, here's the approach, here's the to-do, here's what you do, here's the million dollar game plan, we have to say, wait, we have to do a head check first. Where's our psychology at and are we mentally prepared? Because let's be honest, what we're really doing in real estate is we're starting a business and entrepreneurs have to harness a very different mindset than someone that works for somebody else. You're ultimately saying, I'm now in charge of my financial future, I may have my job still, but my goal is to be successful enough outside of that with the limited time I have that I can eventually either quit that or just have more options to live life on my terms. We're trained when we work for somebody else to be like, yes sir, yes ma'am, I, I do what you say and there's hierarchy and when you're an entrepreneur, it's the opposite, it's like, wait a second, I'm, I'm the yes sir, yes ma'am. I'm the one that's in charge of this thing. And am I gonna show up today? Am I, will I put the work in? Will I actually take the bold action steps? Will I take the risks? So we address all that mindset, we get it cleaned up. And that's actually a big part of today's question, which is, can you actually create financial freedom? Here's the fun part about what's going down. I know enough about your finances that you've done a great job socking some money in the way in a 401k, and you recently made the choice to do something with that 401k. What did you decide? We decided to invest it in real estate. They decided yeah. to pull it out. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, out. if you were to tell your friends that also have 401ks, hey, we're taking money out of our 401k, what do you think they would say? You're crazy. They'd probably say you're crazy. <laughs> like, what about the taxes? What about the penalties? Like, are you nuts? Yeah. All you have to do is math. You look at your age in life and you're like, wait a second. You know, the average American by their 60s has $63,000 in a 401k. And even if it were double that, even if it were quadruple that, many would say, wow, you're way above average. And it's like, yeah, I'm way above average is still too little. So at your age to say, you know what? We're leaving that system. We're gonna actually step into finding our own path. I'm proud of you for that. Because every one of us has to do that if we wanna find our way. Even at risk of losing is better than the first option where we're guaranteed to fail. I wanna have a shot as opposed to a guarantee of failure. Do you, right. know, do you know what I mean? Absolutely. And that's really what today is. Can you actually become financially free? And so here's what I know. You have enough money from your 401k to buy yourself one or two homes. And I think if we're careful, I really wanna go for that two number. Absolutely. Because the goal is, can two become four? Well, at a 25 to 30% annual ROI compounding, my goal is to actually have your portfolio double on average every five years. Sometimes it'll be three or four, Sometimes it'll be six or seven, but on average the goal is every five years because if, if two can become four, then four can become eight. eight, and eight can become 16 and 16, 32. And really now it's just a matter of time of saying, hey, this real estate on the side can actually produce for me what I want. And you're gonna learn through this event all the other things that you can do outside of your 401k to actually accelerate and build more wealth than just relying only even on that. 
because when I took my little bit of money and I started my first couple homes, I was like, wow, this is great, but now I'm waiting. Yeah. And now I don't want to wait anymore because I'm, I'm excited about this. How do I go faster? Yeah. Does that make sense? Absolutely. So here's my advice for you today. Number one, congratulations. Using the 401k and buying real estate, I believe is a super smart, super brilliant move. It's going to um, yield you great tax benefits. You're actually going to get paid on a monthly basis once it like gets in motion. Yeah. And it's an asset that will grow independent of the stock market and more aggressively and successfully than the stock market. But I would say that's a first step. Uh, if you say, hey, you know, Chris, I just want to work 20 more years at my job and I'll just do this on the side and instead of putting money in a 401k, I'll save it up and then buy a next house. I will tell you right now that by retirement, you're gonna have made it. If you want to retire sooner, then you get to say, okay, I need an accelerant or two or three. The two accelerants that I would have you think about while you're here at this event is once you have a track record on your own homes, the next thing that you can do is find people in your exact situation. People that you know that you tell them what you did with your 401k and today they're saying, you're crazy. Mm -hmm. But guess what they say next year? Oh, wait, you're still doing that thing and you didn't fall on your face? Mm -hmm. And now they become open. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, hey, this is this guy on YouTube. Check out his 4,000 home track record. Mm -hmm. You know, through 2008, the worst economy since Great Depression. <laughs> you know, and all of a sudden, hell no's turn into hell yeses. And people go from a no mind to a yes mind. That happens with track records. So the second thing you can do is actually learn, wow, in time we're gonna meet people that could actually become our partners. They have money, we have resources, let's go do more real estate. So that's a natural thing that happens once you've done everything you can with your money and then you're waiting. So I, I would recommend that. Okay. And the only other thing that I would really look at is an active business. Most people, quit jobs and go into businesses and end up working twice as hard for half the money because they don't realize, oh my gosh, I'm not an employee with one hat, I'm a business owner with 15 hats and I'm, I, I got more stress and it doesn't always mean more money. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna share with you during the event standards, five golden rule standards I have for how I can have a business on the side that takes minimal time but actually makes a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And then that creates an additional option. So, Ultimately, today as I give you the blueprint for the million dollar mindset and game plan, it's gonna be about learning how to keep your mind out there and open to, this is a step, now it's like, now I'm gonna look for how can create additional streams of income to go faster. Does that make sense? Absolutely. So you guys yeah. are gonna make it out of the way, now it's just a matter of when do you wanna make it by? Yeah. And what do you do to accelerate that? Do you guys have a goal of when you'd like to retire by? We've never actually discussed it. Uh, age, but yeah. as soon as possible. <laughs> okay. As but, soon as possible. You know, this is a good moment. Like, yeah. most people are like, well, I'll probably work till I'm 65. Mm, no, oh, no, no, no. We don't want that. We, I would uh, say late is 45. Yeah, 40s in the 40s. All right. Yeah, absolutely. How many years does that give us, roughly? Uh, well, 10 for her, 8 for me. All right, all right. <laughs> Listen, I'll just tell you, 8 to 10 years with a good plan and willing to take bold action just like you're doing right now, you can do that. That's what we want. And yes. I'm excited for you. We are so excited. Well, friends, listen, they're on their journey to find out if real estate can actually create financial freedom. And I'm going to impart one last thing with you that they're going to be learning tonight. And it's a principle that I call absolute certainty. It's something that I actually learned from Tony Robbins. I had a chance to mentor with him through one of his high level masterminds. And as he teaches this principle, what I really love about it is he basically says, anytime you want to create something that you don't currently have, you have to convince yourself. You have to manufacture the most compelling mental evidence that you've already done it. So you go in with a certainty. I mean, frankly, that's why we have Disneyland, mm -hmm. because Walt Disney drew a little cartoon picture of a mouse, and he went to a bank and got turned down. Then he went to the next bank. He got turned down 300 times before a bank invested in him. And today, we have Disneyland, Disney World, all over the world, right? Yeah. Which place like, is an amazing organization. Or you look at like J.K. Rawlings. This woman had the manuscript that would allow her to become America's, the world's first billionaire author. The only billionaire author. Her manuscript was shut down 12 times. I hope they put a big poster on the wall like saying, <laughs> we are idiots for turning down J.K. Rowling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, but she was persistent. She could have. She was a nobody. She could have totally given up. She didn't. Oprah Winfrey was told that she's not cut out for journalism. Like, yeah. we have all of these people in life that found a way to create such a deep certainty. And the reality is that certainty is a choice. So can you actually become financially free? I think isn't about believing it when you see it. It's actually more about saying, I'm choosing to believe it no matter what. I'm all in a million percent committed to this. I'll do whatever it takes. And then 
the breadcrumbs manifest and ultimately lead to the thing we call financial freedom. So my advice for you guys is create this compelling evidence in your mind and that meaning just decide you are financially free, spend five, 10 minutes a day in your mind palace just rehearsing it, enjoying it, spending the money, being with the kids, grandkids, just traveling, living the life that you want and every day spending some time there can create that feeling of wow, I'm feeling inside as if I've already got it and that is something I do every single day of my life, practicing the things that I don't have yet. And I somehow it, it awakens the universe to allow these ethereal thoughts to manifest in material. So just decide, I'm financially free. I'm fully committed, no matter the failures, no matter what I have to go through. And if you do that, mm -hmm. that's what will lead to it actually becoming reality. Make sense? Absolutely. You willing to do that? Oh yeah. Awesome. You guys have any final thoughts or questions for me about this whole financial freedom journey that you're just getting started with? No, I mean, we're just eager to learn more and see what you, what you got today. Yesterday was so amazing, so. Well, we're gonna have you connecting with one of my coaches today. We're gonna make sure that we're clear on our next steps, get the financing papers done, and we're gonna start getting under contract, moving on deals and making it a reality. Can't wait. Congratulations, Can't wait. my friends. Thank you so I'm much. so excited for you guys. And uh, we'll do a video later down the road and actually follow back and yeah. just check in and see how it's all going, okay? Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for watching today and thank you both for being here. Zeke and Vanessa, they're wonderful human beings. I'm glad they found me on YouTube and that we found a way to connect with each other and that we get to share this experience. If you wanna learn more about partnering, more about your own custom game plan for financial freedom, doing it with or without money, or even attending one of our events. By the way, is it something you'd recommend? Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. then all you have to do is check the link below. We've got all the information there. Make sure you are a subscriber and we'll see you on tomorrow's video. Thank you.